Hi Endosap, this recipe is for you. Yes, you. If you're feeling lazy and very tired and you're from work and you want to make a very simple lunch or dinner recipe, yeah, I got you. So this is going to be very simple and in a matter of 10 minutes you'll be done. Trust me. <laughs> so I'll move over to this top top and add cooking oil. I'll be making a very easy stir fry. So I'm going to add in my small onion. This recipe is for two. So you can double up the amount of ingredients and make for your entire family. So this is my lunch. All the ingredients in this recipe are going to be leftovers. So I have leftover minced meat. This is about half a kg of minced meat. I have some leftover cup, red capsicum and basil together with some eggplant. That is all. Yeah. So it is that easy, but the outcome is going to be so delicious. Once my onion is soft, as you can see, I'm going to add in some four cloves of garlic. Stir in and let the garlic cook until fragrant. Once fragrant and the garlic is starting to brown, as you can see, I'm going to add in my minced meat. And my minced meat is, as I said, it's leftover, so it's a little bit fatty. I was making <laughs> burgers with my leftover, with my leftover minced meat, so I'm going to make a recipe out of the meat. Using my spatula, I'm going to break down the meat and let the meat cook until cooked through. Minced meat doesn't take long cooking, so this is going to be about one to two minutes of high flame. I'm using high flame, so this is a very fast recipe. <laughs> the reason I'm using high flame is because I also want to add some flavor to my meat because the high flame is going to make the minced meat to sear, so that searing is going to add a lot of flavor. Then I'm going to add in one seasoning cube. Stir in. I'm going to make sure that my minced meat is in a single layer so that the meat can cook evenly. And as my minced meat is cooking, I'm going to be chopping up my eggplant. So because the eggplant so because the eggplant is small in size, I'm going to cut in half and then into about average size pieces. So I'm going to do the rest. And as I say, this is a very fast recipe. You have to be very fast because the meat is almost cooking. If you don't enjoy the skin on eggplant, you can as well peel. Today, I chose to keep the skin. <laughs> so that was fast. So as you can see, immediately you cut the eggplant, it starts to oxidize. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to move over to my meat, which is looking absolutely delicious. So next I'm going to add in my eggplant stir in and wow look at the color i love the purplish color <laughs> is it purple what is the color of eggplant please comment in the comment section down below is it purple is it okay i don't know And then I'm going to add in a little bit of paprika, about a tablespoon of paprika, stir in. So as I stir, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of water. This is going to help the eggplant to cook. 
and then I'm going to reduce the flames to low and let my eggplant simmer until cooked through. After about two to three minutes, I'm going to add in my basil. This is a handful of basil together with the capsicum. And wow, look at the colors. I'm going to let my meat cook for about two more minutes so that the basil and capsicum can cook although I want my capsicum with a little bit of crunch so two to three minutes is enough so the basil is going to add a ton of flavor to my meat to my stir fry and it's going to be so delicious my stir fry absolutely looks delicious and I'm going to serve mine with rice and also you can serve with spaghetti and it's going to be the best. Trust me, you have to try out this recipe and you'll surely enjoy. So if you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up and catch you on my next one. Bye.